So despite Guys Williams having a good start to the 2023 season, they are now in a bit of trouble because going back to when Williams were very bad, here is the toothpaste Williams car back in 2019. Of course, yeah, Williams were horrible at the time and had this title sponsor, Rokit, on their car. Uh, the sponsorship, or the partnership, whatever you want to call it, did not last very long. And it has now been revealed in the last few days that Rokit are now suing Williams for $149 million in damages. So let's get into the details of this story to determine how this could play out for the Williams team. Because, of course, you know, that is a lot of money, especially to a team like Williams. Here are the accusations by the sponsor that Williams, to them, when making the agreement, uh, starting in 2019, promised to have a competitive car, promised they would place higher in the championship. Of course, in 2018, they were last in the championship. Williams, according to them, also promised that the 2019 car would be faster than the 2018 car. Uh, and they go on to state that Williams did not have, in their view, the funds to make a competitive car, which I think pretty clear to see back then that that was the case. And their claim is that Williams intentionally and fraudulently concealed the fact they did not have the money to develop a competitive car. These are quite strong accusations. But let's get into some of the quotes from the racefans.net article uh, going into, um, I guess, this case being announced. And I will make sure to include the uh, link to the article in the description of the video. So let's get into some of the quotes here. And this is what uh, the key parts of the article go on to say. Quote, on or about January 18th, 2019 at Williams Engineering headquarters in Grove, uh, that their new car had, quote, uh, or quote, had industry-leading performance capabilities, including a Mercedes-Benz engine, and would have excellent chances to be competitive, would place in the upper side of the leaderboard and would not be slower than the 2018 Williams car. Uh, the team also told them it had hired Paddy Lowe from reigning champions Mercedes to aid their development. And then it goes on to say, quote, it claims the defendants uh, intentionally and fraudulently concealed the fact that Williams Engineering simply did not have enough money to develop the F1 car, which would be subject to the sponsorship agreements to an industry-leading standard, and therefore defendants knew that the F1 car, which would be subject to the sponsorship agreements, had no chance to be competitive, or at least, or at the least, place in the upper side of the leaderboard, and actively concealed this fact from the plaintiff's subsidiaries. Uh, not sure I've said that word right. Uh, ROK and RMI, and then uh, goes on to say, Rokit argue they have, quote, suffered significant financial loss and damage to their goodwill and business reputation as a result of Williams's actions. And then it goes on to say, finally, they are seeking, quote, an amount in excess of 149 million five hundred twenty-eight five hundred and fifty. Uh, I, th I think you get it, 149 million dollars pretty much or in an amount to be determined at by a jury at trial in damages now the defendants in this case that they go on to talk about at the very bottom there of this um uh, at, uh you know of the i guess the article or the you know the bit that i took from the article but by the way credit to I think Keith Collentine, I think it is, from racefans.net for, um, you know, uh, writing a, a brilliant story. And again, link to that article in the description. Um, yeah, the defendants in um, this case, I believe, is Claire Williams, obviously the former deputy team principal, as well as Mike O'Driscoll, who was the group CEO and Doug Lafferty, who was the chief financial officer. I believe that those are the defendants in this case. 
But of course, this will still affect the Williams team because it still happens, you know, Williams as a business, even though I don't think those three, um, all of those three obviously are not at the team anymore. But uh, if we go back to the accusations, yeah, quite strong stuff. Uh, them accusing Williams of absolutely promising to be competitive and place higher in the championship and have a faster car. Uh, I think they are right that Williams did not have the funds to make a competitive car. But if we go back to this part, where um, it says in the first half of this bit that um, that Williams told uh, the, I think, representatives of the sponsor that they had, um, or their new car had, industry-leading performance capabilities, including a Mercedes-Benz engine, or Mercedes-Benz engine, sorry, and would have excellent chances to be competitive. I mean, that is... <sighs> The, the, I think the issue with this case is, you know, um, is the exact wording from whoever said this to the representatives from Rokit. Because there's a difference between saying, we think we will be very competitive and we think we can place higher in the championship and we think we will be uh, quicker than last year's car. There's a difference between saying that and absolutely promising that you 100% will be placing higher in the championship, have a faster car, and be competitive. And for me, that is the key with these accusations, is let's say if Rokit are going to be successful in this case, is they need to somehow prove from... You know, um, obviously, when we get into the, you know, testimonies and stuff like that, they need to try and prove that it was absolutely promised to them that Williams would have um, a competitive car for the year and would be better, basically, than they were in 2018 and a decent midfield team. But again, it all comes down to what was the wording that was, you know, given to those uh, representatives on or, or around, as it said, January 18th, 2019. Because again, like I just said, there is a big difference between saying we think we'll be more competitive and absolutely promising that that will be the situation. Um, and then, you know, when it goes on to say Williams intentionally and fraudulently concealed the fact they did not have the money to, the, uh, to develop a competitive car, that is yeah that's quite the claim and i'm not sure they're really going to be able to prove that remember of course in a court case um it's about what you can prove it's not necessarily about the absolute truth it's about proving what you can and yeah i'm not sure that is going to be something they're going to be able to do in this case but williams and Rokit do have history in terms of financial disputes and just disputes in general because of course williams terminated the partnership in may of 2020 only like i think it was it six weeks before the first race in 2020 finally took place at the red bull ring and let's get into the details of that case and what happened there so after just one year of the roquette uh, sponsor being on the williams car Williams sought legal action to recover sponsorship money not paid to them by Roquet, uh, Roquet, sorry, which is as follows. Claim of debt from Williams against Roquet for agreements of £18 million. Damages from Williams against Roquet of £6 million. A claim of debt of an oral agreement of £770,000. The oral agreement, I think, just means, obviously... Um, it's an agreement by word of mouth, not actually signed on paper. But um, yeah, it. Um, if you go, and I'll supply as well the article going into this dispute from racefans.net as well, so you guys can look at it in more detail. But um, yeah, basically after the first season, pretty much that these two were in partnership, Rokit uh, didn't exactly fulfill on their obligations when it came to the deal itself. Maybe that's because they were upset that Williams, according to them, um, you know, deliberately concealed the fact they could not make a competitive car and just straight up lied to them. 
but yeah that i i whether that actually happened or not i'm not sure and i don't think any of us can say that for sure but uh that is indeed what happened after the first season pretty much had been completed uh Rokit were not uh forthcoming with uh finances and also uh damages of replacing Rokit as a sponsor 126,000 pounds Show car invoices of £30,000 and branding and rebranding costs of the team with Rokit's logo of £21,000. And eventually, in that case, Williams were awarded, I think, £26.2 million. So Williams were successful in reclaiming the money. But whether Rokit, um, you know, the reason they decided or whatever the reason was they did not fulfill their end of the bargain if it was because they were upset that williams you know misled them com uh, completely and you know as they accused williams deliberately led them on to think they would be a, a good midfield team in 2019 and that's why they decided not to you know to do um or you know to pay up on their end i'm not sure but i still think this case looking at it you know looking at all of the stuff we looked at and i'll go back to the accusations if i can there you go from Rokit against williams i do i wouldn't say this case necessarily has like legs but i don't think this is going to be a slam dunk um you know thrown out of court type situation i think this will probably go to court but i don't think rokit are going to be probably that successful at all because again in a court of law it's about what you can prove and proving these accusations is going to be not impossible but pretty tough um and the chances of rokit actually being successful are what uh gotta be less than 20 percent of the absolute best i would say but let me know guys in the comment section what do you think of all of this what do you think the result will be and let's say for example Rokit are successful then what does this mean for williams does this mean they will be financially absolutely screwed let me know in the comment section down below be interested to hear what you guys have to think and especially if any of you guys watching have a uh, more knowledge of legal stuff because i will admit my knowledge of legal stuff is not that great then make sure to post your thoughts in the comments section be really uh, interested to hear what you guys have to say again if you have more of a legal background or just have more knowledge in that area as to what could happen with this case but yeah guys until my next video has been me chazer hd goodbye